we, how far away are we from something like chat GPT being impossible to detect, like whether or not it's a person or whether it's chat GPT? Well, it depends who is playing with it. I think we're not that far away in terms of capability, but in order to use these systems and rather in order to train these systems, you have to be a large company. And large companies tend to get scared when it's doing interesting stuff. Really? Well, they tend to want to, even currently with ChatGPT, it's become a lot less interesting. Interesting spoken in a Bukowski, Hunter S. Thompson kind of interesting because the companies are kind of censoring it. You don't want it to have any kind of controversial opinions. You don't want it to be too edgy. You don't want oh, it to be really? uh, too, like, uh, if I ask it, how do I build a bomb because I want to destroy the world? You want it to prevent that. How about, how do I, uh, 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 I don't know, uh, convince... I don't know anything about this, but how do I convince uh, a dude or a girl to sleep with me? And go, like anything, I'm just off the top of my head. Anything, you start to get nervous. Imagine if you're a company, how do I want people to use this kind of system? Right. It, especially because it's basically an assistant that gives you wisdom about the world, gives you knowledge about the world. You can I mean, ask it could it be like, answer. how do I replace a carburetor? Yeah, that's great. And it'll just answer you like a person. Yeah, that's great. But yeah. then the there it, is. there it is. I was trying to log in the whole time. It was busy, which is yes. another problem of it. It's busy. <laughs> well, it's probably how many fucking people are using it? Everybody. <laughs> Everybody's using this. It's freaking people out because it's it's almost like the AI gives us its first messages. It's like remember the movie um what was the fucking movie with uh Matthew McConaughey and uh Jodie Foster? Contact. Mm -hmm. Contact. Remember Contact? Mm -hmm. They get the first signals. This is like the first signals. Yeah. From like an, a real general artificial intelligence. Well, that's the thing. And we're, it's the signal is blurry. Yeah. We can't, and it's full of mystery. We're not sure. Is it really smart? Does, how much does it understand? And then there's a, this emergent threshold with the size of the model. If we make the model bigger, 175 billion parameters currently. If we get it to 500, we get it to uh, a trillion parameters. So size of the network grows. Size of the data set grows. Is there, is there going to be a point where you're like, holy shit, it will, uh, what if it starts manipulating you with the, with the answers? It's to going to. It's going to manipulate world governments. And what it's do gonna, you do with that? What can you do with it? So once, it's, once it's been implemented, once it's out there, once it's copied, and it's going to be copied. And, and that's the cool thing about this, So I, I should say, that everyone kind of knows how to do this. It's, it's computationally difficult, but it's getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. So it's not just going to be OpenAI with Microsoft or Google that's doing this. Is basically anybody can do this, and so that the distributed nature of our exploration of uh, artificial intelligence. I think if you believe that most people are good, that we will uh, we will not allow sort of a centralization of power, which is the big concern here. Whether that centralization of power leads to censorship or abuse uh, of different kinds, control centralization of power of AI. Is yeah. that what you're saying? Well, over an AI. So say you have a super it's intelligent system, somebody is the first person that built it. Yeah. Imagine you're sitting there in a boardroom. You have this thing you haven't released yet that it's able to, uh, b basically is, is a super intelligence, able to answer any question, able to give you a plan on how to make a lot of money, able to give you a plan on how to manipulate other governments into uh, uh, into any, a, a, any kind of geopolitical resolution that benefits you, all of that. It's able to give you all of that. And you can deploy it, and you can deploy it in a shady way where it sneaks into, like, TikTok or something like that. It, you, it sneaks into everybody's smartphone, uh, pretending to be doing good, but it's actually, whether deliberately or not, is controlling the population. So that, that's a really, the cap that capability is there. The cool, the great thing is the people at the head of OpenAI currently, uh, Sam Altman and others, really care about this problem. They, they were there in the beginning. They were the ones like Elon screaming about AI ethics, AI alignment. They're really concerned about super intelligent AI taking over. I'm so glad there's a, they're concerned while they're building it. Well, you, you'd rather <laughs> have the people. About this stuff. <laughs> what is going on here, Jamie? These aren't real people. What? Yeah, so these pictures are going around the internet. They're a lot of them look very similar to me, which is kind of weird. I'm sure Lex can explain that part of it. but I, I am not explaining any <laughs> of this. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so like these th are completely 3D... Like people. CGI made yeah. people, not but three, not three D, it's three D. So like photo, very photo realistic, if not photo realistic. But like there are, when you look real close, you can see some weird things going on. Like the background here is a little messed up. Mm. This arm is not 
to the right person. She's sitting on an extra piece of skin here somehow. I see you've analyzed this carefully. Well, me and my friends have been passing this around because, like, okay. no, no, no. Tricky. Listen, you're incorrect. That arm's in a perfect purpose. It's just there's a string from that other girl's bikini on it. Uh, the analysis continues. I'm just saying. So is that what it is? Enhanced, can you so. zoom in? Is that a string? No, I think you're right. I think it's a fold. Zoom in on that spot. For yeah. people just listening. Oh, we're, yeah. Okay. We're, yeah, we're, it's nonsense. We're looking um, at the, the, the hand goes the wrong way. Oh, that's wild. There's already apparently the OnlyFans accounts that are being taken over and being tricked by guys running them. Of course. And it's just these kind of fake girls that aren't real people. And look what? Real. These are all fake? Yeah. Like, look at the, like, the, even that's not a real door kind of to begin with. Wow. The hands or the fingers here are a little off. That's insane. And so this is right now just still images, and eventually it'll be film. Mm -hmm. Eventually it'll be unrecognizable. You you won't be able to d discern whether or not well, it's an actual person. I mean, in terms of, obviously, much of human civilization is driven by sex. I mean, there was a time we didn't have easily accessible porn. Right. And that changed a lot. I, mean, yeah. I don't think we've actually quite caught up to how much he's changed the, the nature of human civilization. It's just porn, easily accessible porn. Yeah, I and talk about it on stage right now. It's very weird. It's, 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 it's very weird for kids. If you really think about what's happening with kids. Like any kid that has a smartphone. People just leave their you give your kid a phone just leave them alone. Like they mm -hmm. just go. They go to school. They go to their friend's house. They have that phone independently of you. They could look at whatever the fuck they want. Some of this shit that I see just on Instagram, I don't know how these guys are doing it. And I don't know how it's getting recommended in my feed, but it's like videos of people getting murdered. Mm -hmm. You know, you see a lot of those? I, uh, we, simulated porn. I haven't seen Strange that. stuff. I, 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 well, I am. You and I have different <laughs> algorithms, you fucking have. creep. <laughs> <laughs> But then someone gets taken down for something uh, that's like they call it porn and it's not porn or something. Like, well, are do you guys not see what else is on this? I mean, platform? I think right that what's going on is that they're managing at scale. And I think it's it's virtually impossible to stop all that stuff from coming in. And people that have individual situations where people get banned. I mean, I don't know why they're getting banned. Are they getting banned because of an algorithm? Are they getting banned because they uh, post uh, misinformation?